Hello, this is just a quick screencast to show you how to install Homebrew, the missing package manager for OS X, uh, on OS X, Mac OS X, 10.6.7 um, specifically. It's a little bit like if you've used the um, the apt system, you know, if you've done like, apt-get install on Ubuntu or um, Debian, or you've used RPMs on Red Hat, CentOS, things like that. Um, it basically just allows you to install um, software in a kind of an approved way for that platform and so Homebrew is a great way of installing a lot of open source stuff especially development type stuff like Postgres um, things like that on OS 10 so I'm just going to quickly show you how to install it um, and I'm not going to go into why it's better than Mac ports and all that kind of thing you know there's a lot of um, technical detail behind this and I'm not super expert at it but uh, Homebrew seems to be like the kind of the cool new way of doing it and also it doesn't kind of like trample over everything else that you've got on your system. So let's get on with it. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you've got the Mac um, OS X developer tools installed. And one way of checking whether this uh, whether you've done this, if you're not 100% sure, um, if you go to the command prompt and you type gcc-v, press enter, you should see a kind of a bunch of information. It shouldn't come up and say, GCC, you know, couldn't find GCC or whatever. If you haven't installed that, you can either download Xcode 4 from the App Store, I think that costs a couple of dollars, or um, you can do what I've done and you can go to your uh, Snow Leopard disk, install from there. There can be problems with that version being a little bit older than the Xcode 4, and I must admit, that's what I've actually done here, this is a slightly older one, so you'll see how this pans out. But get that installed, you're going to need it. Um, you're not going to be able to get very far otherwise. So then bring up your web browser of choice and search for Homebrew uh, Mac OS X or Mac OS X as some people uh, might like to call it and uh, this is the homepage here, number one result and it basically gives you a little demo here brew install wget for example and that will install the wget program which is used for retrieving files off of uh, web servers and so on. So there's a simple button to kind of do all of this. Install Homebrew today, we click the button, and here's the installation uh, information page. This line here basically uses the built-in um, version of Ruby to yeah, do, do the work, basically. So let's select that. I've selected that. I'm going to use the menus just so you can see what I'm doing, but you might use your keyboard for doing copy and pasting. Bring this into here. I'm going to paste that in, and this will use the built-in Ruby that comes with OS X to uh, get things moving. We run this, and notice that I didn't put sudo or anything on there. I'm literally running it as the local user. That's just telling me what I'm installing. Right, now it's doing sudo for me. So I put in my password that's associated with the user, and now it's downloading and installing Homebrew. And installation has been successful. And that's kind of it. Also, what I can do at this point, let's say I want to copy, uh, copy what I saw on the home page. I can now do my brew, ooh, not typing very well today, my brew install wget, press enter, and it's telling me I should upgrade my Xcode. Uh, this relates to what I said earlier. I installed it from the disk, so the Xcode is slightly older than what it would like. Um, but I haven't actually bumped into any problems with this, so you might not either. Um, really, I should download Xcode 4 and use that instead. So now what it's done is it's downloaded um, kind of it downloads like a recipe um, that's been put together by you know people who are a lot smarter than me. Uh, downloads a recipe on how to download and compile wget, and then it follows these instructions, which have been specifically made for OS X, and now it's actually currently doing the compilation. And we're done. Note that this um, says that it took 2.9 minutes. The only reason you didn't see that on this video is because I've been editing. Uh, so yeah, so now we have Homebrew installed and you can follow whatever other tutorials or guides you have that say just do a brew install, whatever, and now it will work. 